Now, I don't know if it was a bad idea to end an episode in the middle of this very important dialogue from Bowser here, so I'm sorry if I kind of ruined the story and made it, um, made it a little choppy right there. You, or maybe I just gave you a cliffhanger. I don't know. I didn't even read that because I don't ever read what's going on in, um, in text in any game. Whether the story's important or not. I mean, clearly in Mario, it's not going to really mean much. But even in, like, an RPG or something, I'm just going to blow through the text, not read it, because I just want to play. I just want to have a good time. So I don't know if I am going into the second world. Or if that was just, like, a tutorial area, and this is really, like, the introduction to the game? I don't know. Uh, no one's gonna be able to stop him now, blah blah blah. All I know is Bowser took over a castle, and now he's controlling a castle and flying around with it, and I guess taking over the Flower Kingdom, because... That's one thing I... I, I I do know, and very much commend in this game, is uh, you're not in the Mushroom Kingdom this time, you're in the Flower Kingdom, but I guess if Bowser being the the menace of the Mushroom Kingdom, you know, he got sick of trying to conquer the Mushroom Kingdom, so he's trying the Flower Kingdom now, and he used his wondrous ways to take over a castle, and now he just is the castle. Oh, I guess uh, some levels actually require a certain amount of Wonder Seeds. So, that's the thing. I mean, that shouldn't be difficult because essentially that's just from beating levels. You get the Wonder Flower to get one seed and then you finish the level for the Air Seed. This doesn't look like a level, this looks like a Toad House. That's exactly what this is. is. <laughs> now, I don't know. Poplin. Okay, that's what they're called. These are clearly the Fire Kingdom equivalent of Toads. They're called Poplins. So that's really cool how they're like t creating a whole kingdom, <laughs> essentially, to expand the lore of the Mario universe by creating a whole new kingdom. I'm really excited to see what else they do with this. And just to see if there's more potential in future games with these characters, even if it's just spin-off games like Mario Kart and whatnot to see if there's Flower Kingdom related characters that you can interact with and who knows, maybe down the road they'll come up with the Star Kingdom and then another kind of kingdom and then you can have a whole world, or a whole game, sorry, surrounded or surrounding the different kingdoms. You'd have, you know, all the, fl the familiar stuff that we have seen from the Mushroom Kingdom from, you know, 35, 40 years of, of uh, the Super Mario games, and then you'll see some new lore from the other kingdoms. You know, I can, I don't have to talk the whole time. I just feel like that's all I'm trying to do, is just talk, 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 and I'm being annoying. Stop it! And just enjoy the game. Yeah, that was just kind of a toad house, I guess. I don't know what's going on. Not at all. Look at this place, but there's so much to see. Can I walk freely here? I think that was another point with this game, is you can walk freely in the uh, overworld map, and you don't necessarily have to go in order. Um, I know, like, 3D Land did that, or 3D World, maybe both of them did that. I think even Super Mario Brothers U did that from Wii U. I'm not sure, but you can see I have a level here. I have a level here, I have what looks like a mini level. Let's do that. Hurry, hurry. Assuming it's just like a short little challenge and then you get a wonder seed for beating that. Dash and go, so I wanna, I'm assuming I wanna hit this block right here to create a platform and then the blocks are gonna continue. I gotta keep, uh, they're basically like the P-switches. Nope, never mind. I thought that was gonna be a lot more difficult. <laughs> I was thinking they're going to be like the P-switches where the blocks are timed and you have to hit another switch block to turn it on, but that was just stupid. That was just stupid. I mean, I know this is World 1, but come on, let's add a little bit of challenge. Well, let's see if this level has anything. Bull Rush coming through. 
Is this the one that you get like a uh, stampede of these dinosaur things? That, that's what I think it is from the trailer. Well, uh, ooh, maybe he can help me by breaking through this. I see some coins. Some purple coins. Oh, that's cool. That's like a Koopa. That is so cool. Oh my god. It, it's the same idea, but it was a snail. It was a snail. And it was treated like a Koopa because the snail shell was like a Koopa shell. Let's do that again. Oh, well, maybe let's not get too distracted either. That would be great. Um, also, is this the first time I've done a 2D Mario on my channel? I think that is. I, I've done a few, like, one-off uh, videos with uh, Super Mario World and uh, Mario Maker, but I never did a full playthrough of one. I think I attempted Super Mario Land, and then I turned out to be just terrible at it, and decided to quit. And I think I deleted the video, so that doesn't exist. But, uh, yeah, no, this is a, a great way to bring things back, as I was saying. And I'm I'm really enjoying myself. It, and, and you know, I've, I've I've always wanted to enjoy a game for the first time, experience a game for the first time. I mean, by doing a blind playthrough of it on YouTube. I don't even know if I should call it Let's Play anymore. I think that word and that saying has become um, not obsolete, but just kind of outdated. Am I wrong? I don't know. I don't care either. You know, you you know what you're getting. You're just getting experience. Also, I believe I need to break that. That might be where my wonder flower is. Um, I'm not surprised to see these things are going to be hidden at times. So I'm going to need to not do that. Okay, so I need to lure these guys over towards... Um, I don't know if this is going to be as hard as, I, as I'm thinking. So I'm thinking I have to get this guy's attention, then jump on the mushrooms and no, because he just runs right into the damn pipe anyway. I don't think I can lure him over here. Uh, can I get him up here? This is going to be too much work, I think. It might not be worth it. Ooh. Oh, okay, he does jump. I wasn't expecting that at all. So, how do I know he's gonna jump? Okay, okay. So, maybe I just wanna stay above him. Because he did do that on his own. I didn't have to trigger it. Come this way. Is he just gone? Okay, let's try to just get past him really quick before he gets too excited. Uh, gotta get far enough back to respawn him. Get ahead of him. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Eventually, you just gotta give up on things. Or, no, no. Or just get other options. Come on, come on, catch up. Oh, okay, we got it. Good enough for me. It didn't really take a whole lot of, uh... A whole lot of effort on my part to really make that work. You know, he got way ahead of me. I thought I was gonna have to really keep, keep, uh, keep, keep an eye on him. What does that mean? And I guess I'm not gonna find out. It's a giant bubble with the number three on it. Who knows? Um, I don't see my stampede yet. Let's not get too excited, though, Star Fox. Come get it. Ah, oh, damn! Maybe that's to extend the, um... The Wonder Flower. That must be what that is. It's a timed Wonder Flower, or something like that. And, uh... You have to keep things moving with the bubbles in order to maintain the effect. That's cool. I, didn't, I really didn't expect that. I thought I was going to have an automatic wonder seed, but apparently, I think when the wonder flower effects take um, <laughs> effect, uh, it may not be as easy as just, you know, survive what's going on, and then voila, you get a wonder seed. I think in some cases, yes, you really have to accomplish a task, and that task is not dying. Like this one here, um... It seems I need to keep the Wonder Seed going until I get to a certain point. So I'm going to have to look for these bubbles. Oh, okay, they knock each other over. That's uh, good enough for me. Get ahead of this guy, jump over him, and he's going to knock that loose. And 
Let's keep a better eye out for the bubbles this time. I will say, I can see this game being pretty difficult. Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing because I was just talking shit. Like, oh, you know, it's a little bit too easy for World 1. Also, where'd that bubble go? Okay, well, screw it. Whatever. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, is that guy gonna... Yeah, he's gonna move back and forth. I can tell he was a different color and wasn't gonna... Um, act the same way. That's... Why did I do that? Was I trying to do... I think I was trying to do a spin jump. Or, like, one of those aerial jumps that are common in the 2D games. Where, you, like, you jump and then do a little spin to get some extra air. That's what I was going for there. And clearly it didn't work. I don't know if that's even enough. Okay, that was an invisible block. And I'm also saying this is an option. So if I jump and hit... Okay, there we go. So I've hit the right uh, shoulder button. I can bring out my uh, hover cap, which I've seen in the trailer. And I actually think that is a uh, optional special ability. Um, I remember the trailers and all the stuff um, previewing this game was mentioning stamps where you can... Um, you can... Is that... Yeah, okay, so I'd hit that up, and then hit it again, and then I get a Wonder Seed? Or a Fire Flower. Okay, that works. I don't know what the hell I was going for there. I don't know. I don't care. Um, but yeah, the stamps I was talking about um, should have access to different abilities. And you can select a stamp before you go into a level to have different abilities. Can I get this guy to turn around and go for this? Cool. And then, uh, you know what, because I'm sick of dying and stuff, let's get this um, elephant thing out. If I can, I'm hitting A. Is it? Oh, you have to hold it down. Okay, cool. And then it turns into a bubble, and now I am an elephant. Cool. I still can't push pipes. I know I've seen that in the trailer, too. Oh, well. Well, that's the end of the level. I'm cool with it. I didn't get the water seed from the flower, but at least I get it from beating the level. Um... Okay, I'm going to call it right there, and I will see you next time in Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Take care.